we are here to announce the national team's new coaching appointment. Thank you for coming here. For that, we have on the head table Mr. Shami Silva, President of Sri Lanka Cricket, Mr. Mohan De Silva, Honorary Secretary of Sri Lanka Cricket, Mr. Ashley De Silva, Chief Executive Officer of Sri Lanka Cricket, Mr. Jaram Jarad, Chief Executive, Chief Cricket Operations Officer of Sri Lanka Cricket, and also the new addition to SLC is a unit, Mr. Mickey Yaka, Consultant Head Coach Team Sri Lanka. Welcome, gentlemen. To start proceedings, I would like to ask uh, Honorable Secretary, Mr. Mohan De Silva, to make the welcome remarks. Thank you, Prasanna. Good afternoon, uh, lady and gentlemen. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you this afternoon on behalf of uh, the President Shami Silva and the member of the Executive Committee when we present a new national coach to you. Uh, as you know, since the last uh, Cricket World Cup, uh, we have been without a proper national coach and uh, we are very happy and pleased that uh, we have been able to obtain the services of uh, Mickey, uh, uh, well-known personality who has uh, been head coach of a uh, number of countries and we are very happy and welcome you, Mickey, Thank to our midst. And uh, it's a pleasure to present him to you and you can, of course, you know, ask question from him after that. Subha Sandhyavak Sampatama Sabhapati Shambhi Silva Mahatra Yathuru Anipur Vidhaya Kamsa Samad Samaji Kain Venuven Abhimeya Vastha Vilpa Sama Kitamat Sadar Nima Pili Ganwa Upadanna Paridhi Api World Cup Karagavali and Pasu Apita Hari Pounu Karvek Tiena I think api kita mas santo sebenar, mikir ada bani budgalek apa kita lapangan ini meter hari ini bagaimana? Oke, kesesian Asia nu orang terbal bela dekim, api bisa sekarang nu bak over the hari day kira eh at dekim pabih cikar, api kan dah ema kita yel matam kita kene masalah. Anuwa, api bismillah sekarang, api Sri Lanka kan dah mat, ungi terangga tapi, ini adalah mat temuk kita, kini amat api ter, alokasi lebih kita. Membeli dulu kata kerana para perut dengan, nama tawarak, api ini ada dengan pilih kena ini pemilih juga sama sama, sama ke Santosin, setuju mati kan, thank you. Thank you sekretari, now the time to Time for the Q&A session. Please raise your hands before asking the question. Uh, Sadi, you can go ahead. Uh, Mickey, welcome. Okay. Um, just uh, <coughs> what is it that uh, that you had in mind to accept this post, Sri Lanka is concerned? You had any, uh, any idea of what Sri Lanka was before, or have you followed Sri Lanka cricket? What was the reason behind it? Well, uh, when I finished with Pakistan, um, Obviously, I, I, it had been three years. It had been three very good years with Pakistan, and, and I, I needed a little bit of time away. And then the, the, the Sri Lankan job became available, and I started discussions with uh, Mr. Ashley De Silva, and and we we spoke around um, me coming here. And I, and I think the thing that it really attracted me was I looked at the talent that's available, and 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 that that's the key that's the key motivating factor is coming to to watch these young players and help these young players fulfill their, their potential. Because Sri Lanka, and it was great being out at, at, at training this morning, the amount of talent that they have is, is, is that, that we have here is, is, is great. But it's, it's teaching them how to, how to use that talent, when to use that talent, um, giving them clear role clarities, etc. And that was the exciting and mitigating factor for me was I was very excited because the cricket talent is, is here. And also, now you are on a two-year contract. I mean, what will be your objectives in those two years to achieve? Well, we're sitting in, in, in a very, I mean, the, the cricket world is so fluid at the moment. We're sitting in a, in a World Test Championship. We're sitting with, uh, there's, there, there's 
um, and, and ICC World 2020 just around the corner. But I think that I think the main thing for me is is yes, and we had a good chat with the boys this morning. We, we're in it to win it. We're, every time we go on the field, we're representing a very proud cricket nation. We, we want to go and, and win every game we play. Um, but I think for me the key is just seeing the guys develop. It's getting a consistent core group of players that can play and that can play and compete at the highest level and then watching them develop is going to be, is going to be very, very exciting. Nikki, uh, when you turn around and take a look at that scoreboard, what comes to your mind? Uh, what comes to mind was sitting in that change room a long time ago watching Sangha and, uh, and Mahela batting and putting on about 600. I remember the players coming out, our, the South African team coming off and it, getting drips put into their arm at lunchtime. They were all, they were all back. And so that's, I, I sent it to, to, to Mr. Shami and, 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 and Ashley yesterday. And when I looked out there, I got cold flushes because I just remember that partnership. <laughs> Alice, Nikki, uh, have you been given any targets to achieve? Uh, what would be your first priority? Oh, I, I, I sat here. Uh, we, we sat yesterday um, with, uh, with, with 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 Jerome and, and Ashley, and we went through. It, it's a whole new structure that that uh, that has been created here, and it's a very exciting structure. I think it's pretty unique in world cricket, and and it was really exciting to see to see the structures. We haven't we haven't spoken around uh, around performances um, just yet, but I'm realistic. I've, I've been in I've, I've been in the international cricket world a long time, um, and it's the currency is wins. The currency is 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 performing and winning. But above all, I see my role. And and, and why I far prefer coaching internationally to coaching in the 2020 leagues is you set up a program for players 12 months of the year. Instead of just walking into a 2020 league and you and you're with them for a month and you move on to the next gig, um, I really enjoy building the relationships with these players, giving them a program for, for a year program, and then watching them develop and watching them perform and watching them become better and better. Um, so, 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 so that really interests me. But in terms of in terms of targets, we haven't spoken about that yet. Uh, Maybe. Um you have been coach, you have coached South Africa, Australia and Pakistan. What does it have, what has, has, it, has it taught you as a coach? What it's, it's, it's taught me a hell of a lot and I sit here, I think being the best coach I can possibly be now. I've coached, I, when I coached South Africa, I, I was very young. We were a very young side, sort of finding our way in the game. Um, I had five very good years there. I had two years with uh, Australia. First year was very good. The second year wasn't that great. Um, and then I had three wonderful years with Pakistan. I loved, I loved every minute of working with those players because very much like the Sri Lankan players, they were very humble boys. They, have got under, they had great values. And to see them develop and fulfill their potential was, was fantastic. The one thing I've learned though is just to have a look understand the culture first and foremost and then once you understand the culture and the environment is then to get it going in the direction you want. Mickey, uh, we are too used to seeing uh, excellence on the field and uh, high levels of fitness uh, by Pakistan teams uh, over the years but soon after you took over those uh, reached new heights. What exactly did you sort of uh, you know I mean, do and uh, to uh, bring them to a stand, certain standard, and uh, what's your secret? Mantra? Well, the, 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 the secret's hard work. There's, the, the, there's, the, there's nothing else. And when we sat and spoke this morning as a playing group, we'll set ourselves realistic goals as, as, as a playing group with red ball and white ball as to where we want to get to. Um, but those, those are non-negotiables. When we go out on the training ground, we train. We work hard. We train to get better. I always say your intensity that you train with is what you take into a game. Your intensity is not a light switch. You can't switch it on and off. You have to be at that level all the time. And, and Pakistan at that point when I came in were, were, were lagging behind the rest. Um, and we made it up and it was exciting to see those players develop and the players then starting to understand how important that was in making them better players. Um, so it was a great journey to go on. I was quite impressed this morning with the, with, with, with the levels of fitness. We, we can always improve, and we are going to improve because there's, um, 
excellence is, is my mantra. We, we'll, we'll train like the best in the world train because if we, if we don't do that, um, we, we'll start lagging behind. So everything we do is going to be excellence based from, from now on in. Um, you, you know, with Pakistan, did you have a problem with the communicating factor? No, I didn't. The, 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 the cricket language is pretty universal. When you say forward defence, everybody knows forward defence. And that's something we've got to get better at, the forward defence. But um, it, it, it's pretty universal. And it was, it was interesting today talking to the boys. And I did learn a bit of Urdu. It took, it took me two years, but I could understand what was going on in the dressing room. So my, my goal is in one and a half years to understand a bit of Singhali, so I know exactly what's going on at all times. They can't pull them all over my eyes. Uh, can I ask you a question on uh, the homework games? Yeah, you can, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there a sort of sense of disappointment uh, about uh, the way things uh, went about? And uh, uh, did you sort of feel that uh, at the end of the day, uh, the leadership group passed the buck on to you? And what was your relationship with guys like Usman Khawaja, Shane Watson, and Richard Johnson? Uh, it, 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 that was an interesting time. I, I felt at that point in time that's what Australian cricket needed. It needed just to be just to be pulled together a little bit, and yeah, I, I, I took the I took the can for it. And you know, people, the homework gate has got a stigma to it that I, I don't like very much because it, it certainly wasn't that. It wasn't. Uh, I'm not a guy that you know that sets homework. Yeah. What it was was just them understanding the, what they needed to do to be professional cricketers, and understanding the sacrifice and the work ethic and the disciplines that go into being professional cricketers. And those are things that I, that I never compromise on. You can never com pro compromise on disciplines, values, standards. Standards have, have got to be high all the time. And, and I was disappointed at that, at that point in time that I felt the standards weren't where they needed to be. Um, and, and it almost needed a, a bolt to, try and, to try, and, try and get it right. Now, if I sit back and think about it, it was far too... Um, What's the word? It was far too drastic a move, but I felt it was it was the same move. And if you ask me now, would I do it again? I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it do it exactly that way. But I, it needed at that time. It, it needed some jolt. In terms of, was my, I've seen Shane around the around the leagues, and you know, it's it, it's all it's all fun. It's it's, it's no problem. Creators move on. I mean, we we all move on pretty quickly. You know, you have to to survive in this world. You've got to. What's the, what's the status of uh, uh, Atru Singh? Uh, uh, what's the status of Atru Singh? He, uh, his contract uh, terminated or he's still... Uh, uh, today actually uh, we are not uh, talking about the Atru Singh. Uh, today we are talking about the new coach. So next uh, uh, press briefing I will uh, tell you about the, what is going to happen to Atru Singh. Today, uh, actually, we are introducing the new coach. Is he still in the payroll? Or? No, he's not. Have you all terminated his contract? Uh, not yet. I will come back to uh, another couple of days time or one week time. I'll come and I'll tell you what happened. We are still in the inquiry uh, stage. Uh, uh, Mickey, uh, uh, how, how do you see now, given the track record of Sri Lanka cricket, uh, the previous uh, uh, couple of coaches had bitter experiences with the uh, Sri Lanka cricket. How are you going to see your tenure here? I'm, I'm looking at very positive. I'm, I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited to work with the gentleman at, at, at this table. Um, and everything that I've seen so far has been has been very, very good. It's been it's been outstanding. I, I already spoke about the high performance program that that Jerome and, and Ashley have put together which I think is pretty unique. It was really impressive going through that yesterday. And I'm just excited. You know, what, what has happened in the past is, is in the past. I know that if I perform the role to the best of my ability, we'll have longevity here and, and we'll, we'll have some success. And the success will be seeing Kusil Mendes become one of the best players in the world. It'll be, it, it'll be seeing um, uh, Kumara becoming one of the best bowlers in the world. If I can get those players believing in themselves and getting better and better, that's that's all, all I'm worried about because ultimately that's going to lead to wins, it's going to lead to good performances. Mickey, uh, 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 there, there will be two World Cups coming up in T20s in Australia and India. 
and uh, you must have seen the performance in, uh, of Sri Lanka in Australia in T20. And uh, under you, Pakistan have become the number one rank in T20. So how would be your plan to improve Sri Lanka's performance in uh, T20s? Well, I think I think it's a very important time for us. We've got about eight months to that, and and you can't you, you can't just a month before the event try and put a put a team together. So our tour, that little three two twenty tour of India, early January is going to be very important for us. We've got to get a brand that we want to play. We've got to get a brand that we think is going to be successful in Australia, and then we've got to put the players around that brand and make sure we can then give them role clarity and we can give them opportunities um, and stick with, with those players. So we can give them consistency in terms of their selection and hopefully we can go there and, and do particularly well. But um, it, it's, it's, getting the, it's getting the brand and it'll be a, it'll be a, that'll be an eight-month an, an, an eight, uh, eight phase in order to try and get us to where we need to be. Australia is tough because, because the conditions are so different. You know, I India, India will thrive in because the the conditions in India for the next 2020 World Cup are very similar. But we're going to have to find a way to go to Australia and compete there. Magi prashniyam in the sabhavitma ata sabhavitma me then Ramesh Ratna ekha thulu hitapu staff ekha da mukade venni ayi vena sthani ekha da amkar la thiye na madhe. Mama adapattre ekha da apply application daane kiri thi no ekolan ta. Ekolan ki adapattre जनमेलाकिन <laughs> टी <laughs> and as you know i've been a part of this for a very long time and i felt that we were not performing to international stand required standards and then i did uh, do uh, a proposal for slc a structural change uh, in the coaching area which i discussed with the ceo at length i mean weeks over weeks and i was only going to accept that position only if the structural change was going to be put in place because i feel we need that we need that help i don't want to go into details of people's coaches names or how it has been run or whatever i'm sure everybody who was before us in these positions and the previous is has gone to do their very best everybody wants the best uh, but i i felt that we needed to upgrade ourselves we need a good intelligence from people like we can some others we have hired already to put the to uh, to get our cricket on the correct track and hopefully together if we work together we have to give me his time and space when I mean, he is new to the job here though that he is a very he is better in that particular field uh, you know how our boys are as well you know we are not like australians or englishmen we have the talent we have the product so given some time i'm sure we should get back together and you know get back to winning ways where we were in the past uh, sorry to us uh, miki there is a list here this use of the support staff which you going to have for with you sometime Uh, uh, which uh, did you have a hand in picking these uh, hand picking these people or how was it? Uh, did you have a consultation with you or we, we had to, we had this well, we had discussions around it. Yes, um, the the fielding coach uh, Shane McDermott he was he had been already hired. But when I spoke with Ashley, we, we we had some consultation around around the, the other guys. I know David Saint came very highly recommended by Cricket Australia, and I had worked with Grant Flower for three years, um, and he was. He was one of the best batting coaches that I'd worked with, just in terms of knowledge, but also work ethic and empathy that he that he showed to the batsmen. So I thought he was a perfect fit for this environment. I, I'm very very happy with the with the coaching team we have. I think it's um it's quite high powered. It's it's pretty experienced, um, and I'm and I'm pretty sure we'll get we'll get the best out of the players with it. Rather than us, what is? 
uh, given the current condition of the players or the Sri Lanka team, uh, what is your timeline for them to come to a position where you see them as a uh, good team? Uh, look, look uh, I've, uh, I've only seen them today at, at, at close quarters and, and I was very impressed by what I saw uh, from every one of them. Um, we had the white ball guys down as well and they did a little bit of training um, over that over the time as well as the, the test players. So there, there, there seems to be a group of about 40 players that, that can play internationally and play internationally consistently. In terms of, in terms of talent, it, it'll, it'll take me time to to, to get my style into into how we want to play, but um, again, you know, how long is a piece of string? Because international cricket moves forward so quickly, and I think we so we so busy this year that um, you know the currency is going to be going to be success, the currency is going to be win, but the currency also is going to be player development and seeing players develop. Uh, Pabere, what else? ो फरकुना डोमेस्टिक डोमेस्टिक क्रिकेट के टीम्स दाहिए तरफ अगर अंडे अभी ओके में एक रिवेला ना उन देखे तो ला टीम्स दाहिए तरफ अगर ना टीए टीए बीए का टीम्स दाहिए तरफ अगर ना ये वाके में अभी ये से ले मेजर टीए क्लब बैग के टा अभी गेवर तीनों डे बैठी है मिलियन नामे एक पैरी पूरा गेवर ना टीए बी क्लब बैग मेके प्लेयर्स लटा प्लेयर्स पी ये का प्लेयर्स का ट्रैक्ट तो कम वैल्यू वाला तीन हुआ काफी बार नहीं होगा कम पार्टिसिपेशन नहीं तो मेवा क्या नहीं के प्लेयर्स लट इकोलंगे इनकम मेके वैल्यू का रंडा ही अभी अगस्त वाला एलपीएल ले काफी गाहन वाला लंका प्रीमियर लीग के का लेकिन अभी विंडो के वेनस कलर म सेवेंटी प्लेयर्स, सेवेंटी प्लेयर्स अभी कंट्रैक्ट कर रहे हैं ना, कर लेती है नहीं देने तक। सॉरी मैं मैं सेवेंटी प्लेयर्स अभी डोमेस्टिक के के सेवेंटी प्लेयर्स अभी कंट्रैक्ट कर लेती है नहीं डॉलर कंट्रैक्ट्स वर्ल्ड। सॉरी डी रिडक्शन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक टीम्स कमिंग फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट सीजन ऑफ। इट्स स्टार्टिंग दिस सीजन, बट नाउ � but uh, two is going down from the TAB like that. Uh, well, next two years will TAB be a first class series? Yeah, yeah. that is there. Yeah. That will continue. Yeah. I mean, in LPL, uh, you, you spoke about uh, <coughs> 70 players. No, no, not that LPL, our domestic. Uh, oh, domestic. Yeah. Can you say something about the LPL? Yeah, LPL, yeah, August we are playing. Yeah. No, Already, no. now we are uh, trying to do the uh, what you call. Agreement, structure, everything. So within about next one month, it will come out, and we will uh, going for definitely we are going for a bill this year. That August. is with international players. Yeah, 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 definitely. Before that, we are trying to avoid the hundred ball game, and with that only we are trying to do it. How better? Only the structure and the structure. Oh, then here, uh, 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 u
Okay, that ends the briefing. Thank you very much for joining me. Please join the refreshments. Thank you.